Why do they call it chapstick? Because your lips are chapped and it's a stick. Oh. It's pretty self-explanatory there, dumbass. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corpus. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy content. Thanks for being Do you have a joke behind that? No. Okay. I good. just, for me, when I hear chapstick, I I go from a, a, a fine British gentleman walking with a cane to uh, a, a cowboy who's been on the range for too many hours and now his chaps won't come off. Not jokes, just where my brain went. I didn't think about the practicality of it just being chapped lipped stick. <laughs> Yep. Uh, today we have a uh, a making video. This is making of say this. Uh, the making of Mama Nun, uh, which is a new Tamil film that came out, um, and it's kind of like the the ones we've seen of the uh, the other like of the crew and the, the oh like, great uh, yeah kind of stuff like that. It's it's currently out, not in a lot of theaters here. Um, so if uh, anybody's involved with the team, I know fa- we saw the trailer and we called it. it was like oh Malayalam industry mm. yes, but it's Tamil. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, Fafa, Fafa's in it, but that hence that's why, why we I were thought, thinking. Um, yeah, a whole bunch of other people are in it as well. Um, so if you've seen it, let us know how it is. If it's one that's worth a watch. Uh, but this is a making behind the scenes kind of a little bit, and I've been told cool. that there are no spoilers in this. Okay, great. Uh, so great, great, great. I always make sure to do that. If you ever want us to do something that we haven't seen of a making of, please make sure it's just kind of highlighting stuff and not giving anything away. Yes, please. And I'm a Hufflepuff, by the way. Uh And a dust. seen him a lot kallala manike kallaguma kalayella kangal sollu kalayaguma kallala manike kallaguma kalayella kangal sollu kalayaguma sollala tuyatami sollaguma Some of the most intense eyes I've ever seen. I'm 
அம்பிகாவதி அனைத்து அமராவதி மங்கை அமராவதி அம்பிகாவதி அனைத்து அமராவதி மங்கை அமராவதி சென்ற பின்பும் பாவலர்க்கே நீ ஏகதி என்றும் நீ ஏகதி It was more of a, a song with a little one, one of the most artistically elevative behind the scenes I've ever witnessed. Yeah, it was a, a wow. The, the singer, I, I know you've seen him a lot before uh, and heard him, but uh, it was it was him like a cappella with it was like almost haunting, a little very bit. haunting. And I, I loved the choice of black and white, and I loved the very fly on the wall don't pay attention that they're filming the behind the scenes stuff and seeming to capture a lot of the genuineness of the creative process and decision making right. going on. It's a lot of actual real filmmaking. Yeah, real it's, real filmmaking. A lot of it is just waiting around and and sitting and conceptualizing, especially setting for up actors cuz like yeah. you here obviously especially you actors can't really help because it's there's a whole union stuff a lot of times. Yeah. And, um and so you're just kind of sitting almost for hours sometimes um hopefully not but like if you're not in your trailer you have to just be ready for whenever they're the lighting is set up or a shot is not set up or and fafa just the the only times where i would want to be in the trailer is if i i really genuinely need the break other than that i want to be around yeah i i like i like knowing what's going into the process of the setup because it, just, it informs a lot about what's going on in the scenes it just depends on um because obviously a lot of stuff that especially in your current self would be a part of would be smaller and so you want to be on set as much if yeah. you're the lead in something you're always there yeah so you kind of need a break sometimes you do you need it sometimes or you also need to prepare for a, a, an intense scene and you can't well, have stuff people around you no your mind right and if you if you uh when you get a break, often I remember I was with Scott on the the set of the Orville two three years ago, um, and in between the shots there was the the holding area for the actors just off set, and they chit chatted a little bit. But for the most part, what they were doing in between shots with the setups because they didn't want to go their trailers were outside of the soundstage they didn't need to go that far, so they just had a kind of green room area for them close to set, but everybody was on their phone. Yeah. Because they've got other things they're working on. They have returned phone calls with their family they have to make. They've got some other things personally they need to take care of. And so, the mo I mean, they'd go on set. They'd film the thing. Cut. The minute they all came back on, straight to their phones. All right, let me catch up on the phone calls I've missed. I've got to do this. I have an audition yeah. for this the next week. Yeah, it'd be interesting <laughs> to see how, like, if Daniel Day-Lewis, how he, how he is on set. Does yeah. He, does he go to his phone? Probably not if he's, like, playing Lincoln, right? I guarantee he has no phone on set for Lincoln. Yeah. No. Or, or for uh, There Will Be Blood. Yeah. He's so full immersive. Yeah, it's it's kind of an. <laughs> I saw it popped up on my on my uh, Twitter uh, TikTok yesterday again, of Ian McKellen and, and um, um, Ricky Gervais. Oh, and he's like, yeah. You do know, in fact, I am not a wizard. Yeah, I. I I, I wanted him to know I am not actually a wizard. What I did was on the day, on the spot, I pretended to I was. I was a wizard. wizard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he does. If you haven't seen that like sketch, it's one of the most brilliant. It is. It's great. And, and speaking of that, is there anybody that I, I don't think we've encountered anybody or know of anybody that's full method in Indian cinema? I don't think it's so. very rare. By the way, everybody, F full methods really, really rare. It's kind of insane because it is insane. It it, 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 I'm like I'm like Brian Cox in that regard. He has full respect for people who have a different process than he does, but it, can't wrap his head around. I, I can't fully wrap my head around it. It depends on the role. It uh, absolutely depends. I, I promise there would be a role where I f might feel the need to be as immersive as method as possible because the role is so challenging yeah, and requiring. Mm -hmm. um, but to the extent of a, of a Daniel Day-Lewis, that's just, that's, that's just crazy. Also, unless you're a Daniel Day-Lewis, a lot of productions won't put up with it. <laughs> Hell, no, they won't. 
And I, mean, I understand Jennifer Lawrence said it recently. She she, 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 she said that are. she would be very uneasy working with someone who's full method. And I, I understand that. I would be too, to an extent. Yeah. Even if I had the honor to work with someone like a Daniel Day-Lewis, it would kind of suck. It's because they, they said they've never met Daniel Day-Lewis. Exactly, because I wouldn't know him. And I would, I'd be consciously aware all of the time as to, is there anything I'm doing that's going to piss him off? Because I'm, I'm going to, because I, you know, I would be the kind of person who, who would joke and would laugh. And the moment we say cut, we're done in that moment. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, Anyways look cool. Uh, let us know about the film. Uh, if it's worth a watch, if anybody's involved uh, with the production of it. And because I, I, I just looked, it's not playing, unfortunately around mm. us um but it, it, it's fafa so i'd love to uh, <laughs> i know he's more of the supporting uh in this but with netflix behind it it should go, go. quickly to their platform yeah so um, so you guys let us three know weeks probably if you've seen it uh if it's worth a watch um if not which would be the next fafa film that we watch and the next tamil film that we watch let us know down below 